It's a big week for the island's nautical industry as the Palmer International Boat Show is back for its 40th year. Last year, the show brought together 271 exhibitors, 250 boats and welcomed more than 32,000 visitors. It runs until April the 28th on Palmer's Old Dock in the heart of the Balearic capital. To get the lowdown on this year's show, Mallorca Daily Bulletin editor Jason Moore spoke to David Walder, the general sales manager for the Balearics for Princess Motor Yachts, but first to Nigel James, the director of Princess International Sales and Service. Well, good morning. Do you want to, would you like to introduce yourself to our readers and viewers? Yes, I'm Nigel James. I'm uh, working for Princess Motor Yachts in the Balearics. I've done actually here for on and off for about 20 years. Um, I'm sales manager in Porto Portels, which is not the worst place on the island to, to end up uh, applying such a trade. Um, and I get the opportunity to come to these lovely shows in this lovely weather and um, sell what is actually a most beautiful and fantastic product. You've got a very impressive stand at the boat show. Uh, have you brought what, 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 are the, what are the new things you've brought this year? Well, the, one of our newest ideas is this boat we're seeing here behind us, which is um, it's an X80. X is something which is quite different to Princess. Um, we've probably been building that idea, I would say, for about four years now. And it's an unconventional shape for Princess. Um, but it creates spaces and volumes that you just can't believe. And um, it really has been a game changer for us. We have, we have a 95, X95, and uh, this is slightly more recent addition to the range, X80. The sales rate has been phenomenal because it's just come to the market with something completely different. And, um, you know, it's really showing us a way. What, what does Mallorca offer, Princess? Ah, so much really, isn't it? It's condensed for one thing, you know, it's, it's not the biggest island on the planet, but it, it, so it is, is easy to get around. It's full of beautiful little bays and, and little areas that unless you've got a boat like this, you're just never going to experience. We are a catchment area for the world, you know, if you look at the nationalities that we get coming into here, there is people from all over the planet coming here and enjoying boats. Obviously our big markets are European um, and the Germans and the Americans are probably our biggest drivers, along with the, the Spanish who are a significant customer. But I'm now seeing, you know, I'm seeing um, even some Americans we're seeing uh, looking at us now. And uh, it's just a great, great place of easy to get to, mature services, um, very mature companies that have been doing it a long time and do it very well. And all your boats are made in the UK, are they? We are, yeah. We, we build in the west country of England. We're in Plymouth. We've got staff there probably of about 3,000 people building about a little over 200 boats a year. We make a large part of our boats, more than some manufacturers, in as much as we make these seats, we make our stainless steel, we do our own paintwork. You know, having grown up in Plymouth, which is a bit out of the way for England, they had to learn to do everything themselves. So they have complete control of all their different processes, all their, all their own furniture, all their own steelwork, all their own GRP and cos, uh, composites. So um, they have a lot of control over the product line, a lot of control over the quality and uh, it does make for a better product, no doubt. And what is the market like at the moment? It's, um, it's, it's interesting really. There's probably a little bit more availability than we saw a year ago. Um, so perhaps that's indicative to a, a little bit of a slowdown over the winter. Um, but certainly this last four to five weeks, there's been a step in the right direction. The sun, at least in Mallorca, has come out. Not seeing much of that in England yet, or Northern Europe. But, um, you know, the sun makes such a change, really. We've got a couple of boats here in stock. Um, that brings opportunity, and I'm, I'm sure that we will find the opportunity to put those, these boats into this market, and uh, people will be here enjoying them in the summer. And our readers are more than happy to, uh, more, more than welcome to come and, uh, and see your stand. We are here, and we are very open to, um, you know, the customer of today, but also the customer of tomorrow. You know, an environment like this, you can't judge anybody by their look, that's for sure. Unless you're going to sit and have a conversation with people, we've got no idea who they are. And not everybody can do it today, but it doesn't mean that they can't be doing it in a few years. And a company like us, we have to be looking ahead the long game because um, that's how we get successful. Hello, I'm David from Argo Yachting and uh, welcome to the Palmer International Boat Show 2024. And we're here on board the Galleon 640. Uh, we've got lots and lots on display here. We have the Saxstore 270 GTO and Saxstore 320 GTO. Um, really, really exciting cutting edge design uh, day boats which are proving hugely popular and a very exciting new brand. 
We have two Chris Crafts from America, the 28 launch GT and the 35 launch GT. They sort of the classic um, flared, um, flared bows, uh, beautiful lines, um, superb build quality. And so we have two of those on display. Uh, we also have the Green Line hybrid boats. We have the 40 and the 45 fly. So for people who want added comfort, silent power, and being able to run all the, the ship's systems for 48 hours without needing to turn on the, the engines or generator, which is uh, becoming more and more popular as people become more environmentally conscious and also people that want to ha and have extended periods cruising. And then lastly, we've got the Galleon 440 and this, this yacht, the Galleon 640. It's a hugely innovative design, um, maximizing space with the really interesting layouts. So we have these as well. So uh, lots, lots to show, very exciting. The Palmer International Boat Show is hugely important in our calendar. Um, I think it's the third large, largest event we attend and take part in in our, cal um, in our calendar each year. The show has been growing and growing and growing. I think it's also growing in importance as uh, the Balearics and the guaranteed weather becomes more and more exciting for our customers in the UK and Germany specifically. We've doubled our display here with our Argo side of the business. And so we've got much, uh, much more space. We've got our second stand and a further four boats on display um, to what we usually offer. Yeah, the um, appointment book has been looking really, really health and um, healthy coming into the show. Uh, the sun is, has been out. We, it'll be out again sh um, soon, very shortly. And we're expecting to see lots and lots of people today and, uh, today and on Saturday. So, um, if you're visiting the show, please, please, please come and join us and um, have a look at the yachts we've got on display. You'll be incredibly welcome. Stop by for a drink and a chat. Uh, if you're a boat owner already and thinking of selling as well, uh, please stop by. We can help there. Um, the the pre-owned market has been incredibly busy and we're actively looking for more listings. So if you're buying new, buying used, want to, thinking about selling, uh, please stop by, have a coffee and uh, we'd love to meet up with you.